Bonjour. So, Dean, Australia is sending its largest ever track and field team to an overseas Olympics, and we really have some genuine gold medal contenders. Let's start with the women's pole vault and Nina Kennedy. Yeah, Nina Kennedy, you would have to consider at least uh, a Monty for gold or silver just on her previous form. Uh, her running battle with the American Katie Moon is going to be one of the big things to watch at these games. Uh, the two of them shared the gold at the World Athletics Champs last year and what was a touching moment, one that she's promised will never happen again. <laughs> if, they get to, if they can't be split at the Olympics, she's, she's going for it herself. Um, and she's a, she's a massive chance to take home the gold this year. Matt Denny in the men's discus, he was fourth in Tokyo. Can he improve? He has already improved. Uh, his problem is that the field has improved as well. Uh, Matt Denny broke the Australian record at the national champs in April uh, with a fantastic throw. Um, but it's such a competitive field in the men's discus. So even while he was doing that, a couple of days later, the world record got knocked off at a Diamond League event. Um, one of the most competitive fields uh, in the field events. Uh, Matt Denny's going to be right in the thick of it. Uh, we hope he can, we can improve on Tokyo and, and take a medal. Women's 1500 metres, Jess Hull. She is in sublime form, isn't she? Incredible form. Talk about peaking at the right time. Broke the world record in the, in the 2000 metres at the Diamond League just a, a week or two ago. Obviously the issue is uh, there is no 2000 metres at the Olympics, but uh, she's primed for the 1500. Um, another real leading Aussie candidate in that. She made the final in Tokyo. Wasn't quite at the level she is now, but uh, three years later, she's, she's ready to go for a medal this year. And in the women's high jump, we have two major contenders. Yeah, we could have two Aussies on the podium in the women's high jump. Uh, Nicola Olislagas and Eleanor Patterson will be going head to head. Um, yeah, you know, you, you play the odds, you have to think that an Australian has a pretty good chance of taking a gold in that one. Um, they, they, the two of them have been going head to head for years, so they know how to, to battle each other, they know how to battle the world. Um, Fingers crossed at least one of them can take a, take a gold in, in Paris. Dean Bilton, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Amanda.